Hey, I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today we're gonna make a secret bed outside the secret office. Today we're back at Josh's house and if you remember a long time ago we were here and we made a secret room through this wardrobe. Well today in the same space we're going to make a secret bed or a Murphy bed. This video is sponsored by Rockler and they have kits for all different types of Murphy beds that come with all the information and the specs that you need to actually build it into a project. Then you get to decide how you want to wrap it and make it fit the space. Well since this is Josh's house he's come up with a design and he's going to talk you through how we're going to fit it into this room. So the room outside of the secret office was always intended to have a bed for guests, but a traditional bed would take up way too much floor space. So a Murphy bed would really be perfect for this room. Unfortunately, the ceilings are not tall enough to do a traditional like headboard to footboard Murphy bed. So Rockler also has a kit to make the bed horizontal. So this is meant to fit a full size mattress. And it's also going to be flanked by some bookcases and have two cabinets to hold blankets and sheets and stuff like that. So I did make a 3D model of this space for the secret room and I also put the bed that I designed in that model. But I also wanted to show my wife like what it would look like in the space. So I took some blue painter's tape, marked out the areas to give a sense of scale in the room itself. This is the piece of furniture that we're gonna make downstairs. The tape represented the outer bounds so we could get a sense of scale in the room. But in Fusion 360, I modeled up the entire thing. The bed area here is taken from the Rockler plans. And then we added the bookcases on the side and the two drawers on the top. So we took this Fusion model and we created a cut list. So these are all of the pieces of plywood that we have with each of the panels labeled and listed. Now we're gonna cut them up. I have the AccuCut track for my circular saw because I don't like this tool and I don't want to use this tool without the AccuCut, but I don't remember where the plate is. So to compensate, I'm just going to move this over the four inches that you need for the base plate and just use it as a straight edge. We've been breaking down plywood for about two hours and we're about halfway done. It's just, it's little pieces. So this is the last sheet of like little intricate pieces and then everything else is like big chunks after that. And then it's edge banding and pocket holes. We've got all the plywood broken down for this and we're gonna go ahead and start by putting together the cabinetry on the outsides. This is really simple cabinetry. You've seen us do this a million times. It's gonna be pocket holes. So we're gonna get these put together and then I wanna spend the majority of our time talking about this bed mechanism because it is something new for us. As we start putting these together, one thing I wanted to point out that if you don't want to have to take out the trim where you're going to put a piece of cabinetry up against a wall, you can actually just knock out the shape of the trim from the back of the cabinetry. That's what we're going to do here. We're just going to notch out the bottom back corner so we can leave the baseboards in place and just push this up to the wall.
Jeff got these two things screwed together and some simple face frames put on the front of those. Now we're working on the drawers and there's a whole bunch of these but they're really basic. So we've got some plywood faces with edge banding all the way around and then several other pieces with edge banding just on the top and Josh is about to put the first one of those together. Now that we've got those shelving units put together, we're gonna start working on the actual bed section. Now this is all from the plans that come with the kit, so if you buy that kit, you're gonna have all the information you need, but I just wanted to show you what we're working with. Basically, we're gonna be making some ribs out of these pieces and L shapes, and these are gonna go on the inside of pieces of plywood to make a sturdy box, and that's where the mattress is gonna sit. We got the frame put together. So next up, it's wrapping this in solid material on both sides. There's gonna be three quarter inch on the bottom of the bed, which will be exposed when it's in place. And then some thinner stuff on the inside where the mattress is gonna lay. I'm gonna take a break from the other stuff and put in the drawer slides on these drawers on the bottom. I'm using a different type of slide than I typically use. This is called a bottom mount slide. And it's actually a little tray that fits on the bottom of the drawer and that fits into the piece that's mounted on the sidewall. The way you measure to put these on is a little bit different than what I'm typically used to. So I've got it all written down. I'm just gonna mark it out and then level these and put them in place. I got all the drawers mounted except for this one, and you'll notice that it's missing a side. That's because this is a feature drawer. This is gonna be on the top, on the side where your head will go on the bed, so you can pull it out, and inside this drawer, there's gonna be a power source, so you can put your phone or your other stuff here, plug it in to charge. That means we need to leave this side open, but I do need to clean it up. So I'm gonna cut a little panel to fit right here, then we can mount the drawer slide, drop this one in.
This is where we're at. We've got the bed put together and the hardware is in, but we can't adjust it until we get the mattress into place because it's all counterbalanced. But this is pretty much ready to go. We've got these pieces ready, but they're not attached yet. So I'm gonna leave and this weekend, Josh and his wife are gonna paint this entire thing. Then we'll come back together and add the upper portion and the rest of the trim and get this thing finished up. Josh's wife got the first coat of paint on this thing, and while they finish that up, we're gonna go ahead and do a couple more parts. One of them is this charging drawer that we talked about. So there's a power strip that's plugged in behind the unit, and this is gonna get mounted on the back side, on the back wall of this drawer, and then connected to that is gonna be a USB hub. And this USB hub is gonna be mounted right here, so that when a guest comes to stay, they can just open the drawer, plug in all their devices, and set them right here in the drawer. The last thing to make here is a couple of doors to put up here and these are going to be mounted from the top with some hinges and you'll lift them up this way and they'll be held in place with some gas struts on the side. This is one of the many ways to make a really simple shaker style door. And we've got a frame here that's gonna be pocket held together and this is out of three quarter inch material. And then there's a half inch panel with pocket holes in it as well. But to get this inset a little bit, we've got some spacers. So we're gonna put spacers underneath this panel to lift it back into the frame a little bit, put in all these screws and you're good to go. It's all finished and I think it turned out great. Are you happy with it? I'm super happy. Good. It looks exactly like the model in Fusion 360. I was able to take the model from the secret office and put this out here so that the floor space can be nice and open and a Murphy bed was a perfect solution for that. The Murphy bed came from Rockler and Rockler is a family owned company since like 1954. They have all sorts of fantastic woodworking tools and supplies and they specialize in hard to find furniture hardware. 
like Murphy bed kits. This kit came with everything you need, all of the hardware plus all the plans so you could easily work it into the Fusion model. And they have lots of different versions of this for horizontal, vertical, all different sizes, as well as a bunch of other stuff. If you wanna find out more about these kits and everything else that Rockler has to offer, you can go to rockler.com and find lots of tips and tricks and all of their products. And if you're interested in the Fusion 360 course, we'll put a link to that down in the description as well. We've got tons of other types of projects that you may wanna check out, and if you're not subscribed, do that as well. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And we're also gonna wrap it with some bookcases and some cabinets to fit, I was gonna to say toiletries, and toiletries is not the word. Toilets. Bed toiletries, accoutrement. That's scary. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Outside the secret office.